In this lesson, we will learn how to customize user roles using a plugin. Before we create custom roles, let's remind ourselves of the default roles WordPress provides. Administrator, Editor, Author, Contributor and Subscriber. We covered these in one of our previous lessons, namely user management. But the focus for today is custom roles. But why create custom user roles? Creating custom roles allows you to define specific responsibilities and permissions, segment users and tailor their experiences, manage content moderation effectively, and define custom workflows. Here is a practical example. You might have a non-profit site and have a specific role for coordinators and volunteers. In this example, we'll create a custom role called Comment Moderator for a user who can only edit and read posts. Since none of the default roles fit this need, we'll create a new one using a plugin to show you how it works. There are various plugins to choose from in the plugins directory. For example, Members, User Role Editor, or Advanced Access Manager. In this example, we are going to install and activate the Members plugin. So once the Members plugin has been installed and activated, we can make our way to Members, bottom left in the sidebar, and then click on Roles. And here we will see all our default roles, Administrator, Author, Contributor, Editor, and Subscriber. The Role Manager feature allows you to edit and add new roles, as well as remove both default capabilities and custom capabilities. Please note, if you make changes to default roles with the plugin, the changes are saved as permanent changes and will need to be reverted using the plugin. If you need to make changes to a default role, it is therefore recommended to rather copy the role and then make the changes in the new role. But we are going to add a new role and name it Comment Moderator. And then you have a wide range of capabilities that you can grant or deny. If none is selected, the user simply won't have the capability. So I'm just going to go ahead and grant the capabilities that I want my comment moderator to have. Below general, I will go ahead and grant the moderate comments capability. Then we can make our way to posts and grant all these capabilities, reading, editing, publishing, and deleting posts. And then we can add the role. Now this of course all depends on the role that you created and the capabilities that you wanted to assign to that role. So once you have decided on the role, you can go through all the subheadings and decide which capabilities you want to grant. Now we can make our way back to roles and we will see that the comment moderator has been added. Next, we will make our way to users. On this site, we have two users, the administrator, which is me, and then Don Camera. So let's click on Don Camera, scroll down to the bottom, and then change the user role from subscriber to comment moderator, as we want this person to moderate all the comments that are added to our blog or news page. Now we can log in as Don Camera. And in the left sidebar, we can see that he has very limited capabilities. He can access posts and comments. And as we will notice, we do have a comment waiting for moderation. The comment is clearly not spam, so the user can go ahead and approve. Now you can, as mentioned, duplicate or clone and then customize default roles or you can create new custom roles with limited capabilities.